Hello everyone. In this video we will learn Python range function. So what does the range function do? The range function can return a sequence of numbers. By default the sequence starts at 0. Then it increments by 1 and the finally it stops before a specified number. So these are the three things you should remember when you are working with range that the sequence starts at 0, increments by 1 and it stops before a specified number. It will more makes it will make more sense when I give you an example. So an example code is for example I can use range 5. So if I just use range 5 all three will apply. So if you use range 5 Remember the sequence will start at 0. It is going to increment by 1. That means you're going to see 0, 1. Let me just write the sequence here. So you'll see 0. Then remember I said it increments by 1. So you're going to see 1, 2, 3, 4. Now it'll stop at 4 because of the last option. It says stops before a specified number. So if your specified number is 5, the range will stop at 4. So again, the sequence starts at 0, increments by 1, that means you're going to see 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Since you specified the number as 5, the range will return these 5 numbers to you. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Uh, now let's look at the syntax like how do we actually um, write the range function so range function takes three arguments now if you don't know what's an argument for now just know that okay we need three values here one is your start another is your stop another is your step now it is important to know that only the stop is required the start and step is optional so when I wrote range 5, this is the stop, which is required. So 5 means this is our stop value. That means it's going to stop at 5 minus 1, which is 4. Because, as I said, stops before a specified number. Now, depending on the scenario, you may have to use all three. You may have to use either two of them or just one of them. For example, the range 5 that I just wrote here, this only needs 1 because I only wanted to print 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. For example, okay. So if I want to print 0 to 4, my best option is just to write range 5. I do not need a start, I do not need a step, I just need the stop, which is 5. Now let's look at some examples and it will make more sense. Now also it is important to know that you cannot just use the range by itself. You also need to use it with the for loop. Now if you don't know what's a for loop, it's okay. Um, you will just see how it works. Maybe you will not understand the full application of the for loop, but for, in order to work with the range, you will see how the for loop is going to help you to answer some of the questions. So let's look at the questions and see how can we do this using a range function and the for loop. So we will learn to answer the following questions using the range function. Because the first thing is I want to print 1 to 5 I want to print your name 10 times. Uh, I want to print numbers from 10 to 1. So it's going to go from 10 all the way to 1. So 10, 9, 8, 7 and so on. And then we want to print all the even numbers from 1 to 20. Then we want to print all the odd numbers from 19 to 1. And then print all the multiples of 10 from 10 to 100. That means we want to print 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on. So let me copy these questions and let's see how we can do this using the range function. So I'm going to copy all this here and 
I'm going to select all this and I'm going to do control slash so that all these will become comments and we'll start answering one by one. Before I do any of these problems, let me just show you the one that we started talking about, which is this one. That if I just use one, which is range five, I'm going to see zero, one, two, three, four. And also I'm gonna copy this on the syntax so that you guys will see how this is working. So let's put the syntax here. And also I'm gonna use the comment out okay so the first one I gave you is this range 5 now as I said in order to see these numbers we can't just do range 5 we have to use the for loop so how do I use the for loop so for now you don't have to understand the details for now just know for now just know that you have to write for I in range 5 colon and here I'm going to write print I okay so this will allow you to go over the range which is 0 to 4 and you will see the numbers 0 to 4 if I run this code so let me run this code and just to show you so here you can see that it is printing 0 to 4. Now why it is printing 0 to 4? Now to get an idea how this is working just know that the 4 allows you to go over each of the numbers in that range. So remember range returns a sequence of numbers and that for loop is going to go over each of the numbers and then when you print that i the I is going to print them for you. So let me uh, try to annotate this so that it makes more sense. Uh, so first of all, what I'm going to do is, first of all, know that when you say range 5 is going to get the sequence of numbers for you, starting with 0. Remember I told you that by default it starts at 0, increments by 1. So it's going to do 0, 1, 2, 3 and a 4. So it's going to stop at 4. As I said that the last thing is, let me go back. So if you look at here, uh, stops before a specified number. So if you specify the number as 5, it's going to stop at 4. So that is why I wrote 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the 4 loop what it is doing is that it is going to go over each of these numbers. So first, i is going to point at 0. And since you said print i, is going to print 0 for you, which is what you're seeing here. After printing i, which is 0, your i is going to look at 1. And then 1 will get printed. Similarly, i is going to go to 2 and print that for you and it's going to go to 3 and 4. And that's how you are printing the numbers from 0 to 4 using the range and the for loop. Okay, so let's clear this. Okay, so that's the basic idea about the range. Now let's answer these questions which will give you more ideas how this range uh, function is actually working. So I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to write this as a comment. So as I said, if you don't know about for loop, it's okay for now. Um, just know that you have to write this for i in range 5, print i, don't forget the colon at the end. Okay, so let's start answering all these questions. So print numbers 1 to 5. Now, if you want to print numbers 1 to 5, you have to start with 1. Okay, by default, the range starts at 0. So, you need to have a starting number. Remember, I told you this. Um, the range can take up to 3 values. Start, stop, and step. So, in order to print numbers from 1 to 5, 
I will be needing these to start and stop. So let's do that. So again, I'm going to write that for loop. So I'm going to say for i in range. However, this time I cannot say 5. Because if you notice, if I do 5, it's going to go from 0 to 4. Because by default, it starts at 0. So if I want to start at 1, I need a starting number. Because that is how range works. You have to specify the starting number, which is 1. So I'm going to put that number 1 first. Now I also need to have the starting num uh, sorry the stop. Okay, so where I should stop? So some of you may think, okay, it's five. No, it's not going to be five because if you do five, it's gonna go from one to four. Why? Because remember, the range will stop before the specified number. This is working as your stop, and that number will not get printed. Okay, it's gonna go from one. Two, four. So, which is why I have to write six. So, I only need the start and stop. I don't need the step because by default the step is one. So, let's do this. So, I'm going to do print i. So, again, um, what's going to happen if you guys can guess? Uh, if we do one, comma, six, Python is going to start at one because you specify the starting number, it's going to start at 1, go to 2, increases by 1, and do 3, then 4, and then 5. It'll stop at 5 since your stopping number is 6. And as I said, range will stop before the specified number. So let's run this code and see if it is working correctly. And as you can see here, it printed 1 to 5 for me. Again, 1 is your starting number, 6 is your ending number, but if you do 6, it will stop at 5 and it will increment by 1. And remember I told you the start is optional, so this 1, if you don't provide that 1, if you just write 6 for example, can you guys guess what's going to happen if you just put 6? It will go from 0 to 5. So let me run this. And you can see it here, it's going from 0 to 5. But that's not what you want. You want to do this from 1 to 5, which is why I needed the start. But as I said, start is an optional. OK, so you're done with the first example. I'm going to comment this out. Now let's look at the second one. Print your name 10 times. So that means I want to make sure that the range is running a total of 10 times. So it doesn't matter if you're starting from 1 or 2 or 3 or 5. You just have to make sure that it is running a total of 10 times. Notice that if I do 1 comma 6, it runs a total of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 a total of uh, six times. If you do, um, no, sorry, this is for just six. If you do one comma six, it's gonna run a total of five times. That means you need to write the range function in a way so that it runs a total of 10 times. So first, let's see how can I run this a total of 10 times. So you can think of this as, okay, saying that, okay, uh, print, 1 to 10. If you can make the for loop with the range in a way so that it prints 1 to 10, that means I can run it a total of 10 times and then I can also print the numbers 1 to 10. So let's see how this can be done. So I'm going to do for i in range. You can simply do um, 10. If you do 10, remember it's going to start from 0 so it's going to go from 0 to 9. 0 to 9 means a total of 10 times. So that means the for loop is going to run a total of 10 times. And that's what I need. But this time I don't want to print i. Because if I do i, it's going to print from 0 to 9. Let me just show you first. 
and you'll see it's, it's printing 0 to 9 because it's, again the 10 is your stop number you can see it here this is required and it's gonna go from 0 to 9 which means 0 to 9 is a total of 10 times however you don't want to print I because that's printing the numbers you want to print your name so instead of printing I all you have to do is just write your name here so I'm gonna just do X Y Z so instead of I getting printed it will print X Y Z how this is working let me just explain this a little bit so remember if you do um, I in 10 it's gonna go from 0 to 9 so it's gonna go from 0 1 2 3 and so on it's gonna keep going 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 and we'll stop at 9 and when you're saying for I in range 10 so that means your I is gonna first look at 0 and instead of printing I you're printing XYZ so when I is pointing to 0 you're printing XYZ once that is done your I is going to focus on 1 and one it, once it is focused on 1 you're printing XYZ again next I is going to pr point to number 2 and again XYZ it will get printed so the main difference here is that instead of printing I you're printing something else you're not you don't need to print uh, the I if you want you can also print I but this is not needed because you only want to print your name a total of 10 times okay so let me erase this and let's go to the next uh, question I'm gonna just comment this out. All right. So this time, um, I want to print numbers ten to one. So this is slightly different. Instead of starting with the one to ten, I want to print to ten to one. So how do I do this? So let's try to understand this. So I'm gonna do for i in range. Let's try to understand what I need to provide in the range function. We are starting with the number ten. So I need to provide ten. Now. The tricky part here is that okay you're stopping at one now if you're starting stopping at one do you think if I put one it will stop at one a little confusing right so let's um, continue with this if I do 10 comma 1 let's assume that okay yeah it's gonna go up to one but it will not and then you need to have a step size here because remember by default Python uh, sorry the range function will increment by one but here you're not incrementing by one you're actually decreasing the number by one because you're going from 10 to 9 to 8 to 7 that means you have to provide a step size here so that it can start decreasing so if you want to decrease by one all you have to do is just provide negative one okay so now you will see what's gonna happen let me print that first and I'll show you what's gonna happen now so if you do 10 comma 1 comma negative 1 this is what's going to happen first of all the range will see the start which is 10 so it's gonna first get that 10 and since you said the step is negative 1 is gonna decrement the number by 1 and it's gonna go to 9 sorry I wrote negative 9 that's not right just 9 okay and then it will keep decreasing so it's gonna go to 8 7 6 5 I'm just putting the comma but remember the comma will not get printed uh, 4 3 2 now it will stop at two since you said one so again remember it will not go to the last number which is defined as one okay it will stop before the specified number so what's the number before one if you think okay you may think it's one I'm sorry if you think it's zero but remember you're starting with ten that is why it's gonna stop at two because one is the number you provided here so since you're going in the opposite direction it's gonna stop at 2 so let me show you this and why is gonna show 2 
So let's run this. And you'll see it's stopping at 2. Just like the way I mentioned that it's stop, gonna stop at 2. Okay, but we don't want to stop at 2. We want to stop at 1. So how do I make sure it stops at 1? Can you guys guess? Yes, it is going to be 0. So if you do 0, then it will go up to 1. Okay, so now let's run this code one more time. And you will see it's going to go from 10 to all the way to 1. Okay, let's go to the next question. Let's comment this out. Okay, so now next question says print all the even numbers from 1 to 20. So last question you saw that how we used all three arguments, start, end, and step. Okay, so print all the even numbers from 1 to 20. However, when I say even numbers, uh, I should not say actually 1. Let's start with 2 so that it makes more sense. So we want to print all the even numbers from 2 to 20. So let's do this. So for i in range, I think some of you can guess what we need to put inside the range function starting with 2. I want to stop at 20. That means I have to go up to 21. And since I want to print the even numbers, that means the step type should be 2. Because you're going to go 2, 4, 6, 8. Right? So the step size should be 2 and then I can just print that I. So you have start, you have end, and you have the step. Starting with 2, that's your start. 21 is your stop, that means it will stop at 20, and a step is 2. So let's run this. And you can see it here, starting with 2, it stops at 20. So that's how we can print all the even numbers from 2 to 20. Let's comment this out. And let's go to the next question. We have two more questions left. So print all the odd numbers from 19 to 1. So instead of going from 1 to 19, we're going to go from 19 to 1. So we want to see 19, 17, 15, and so on. So what should I do? I think you guys can figure this out. I'll uh, give it a try and pause this video and then check if it is the same. So for i in range, we want to start with 19, and we're going to stop at 1, that means I need to provide 0, and then the step size should be negative 2, since we are decreasing the number, and print i. Alright, so now let's see if this is working correctly. And you can see it is so starting with 19 to all the way number 1. So we printed all the odd numbers starting with 19 and all the way to 1. We have one question left, so let's try that. So we want to print all the multiples of 10 um, from 10 to 100. That means we want to print 10, 20, 30, and so on. So again, um, same thing, starting with 4i in range. So what should be in the range? You want to start with 10. You want to stop at 100, so you can do 101. And you want to increase by 10, because it's multiples of 10. All you have to do is provide 10. And do print i. So again, your i is going to first point to 10. And since you said the step size is 10, it's going to go to uh, let me annotate this again. So starting with 10, the step size is going to be 10. That means the next number is going to be 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. Since they said the last number is 101, it's going to stop at 100. And that way you will see all the multiples of 10. So if I run this, you will see that it's printing 10 to 100. So I hope this makes sense how range function works with the for loop and you guys have an idea how we can use this to answer these type of questions if you guys have any questions please write in the comment section and I will get back to you thank you for watching guys bye